Hi there, my name is Kathy Hansen and I'd like to spend a few minutes uh, showing you some of the various ways that I work with the Silver Scrubbers by Silver Brush Limited. First thing, first and foremost, it is the ultimate, ultimate lift out brush when you are working in watercolor media because you put that water down, let it set for just a moment, one, two, three about scrubs is all you need and you will effortlessly lift out to the white of the paper, which is very important when you're working in watercolor because the more you got to scrub, the surface integrity of the paper can be compromised and then all additional color you put on it will grab in spots. So, um, it is the softest, gets the job done quicker than any other one that I've ever worked with. It also comes, um, I was working with the oval, it's also available in flat, dome, and angle. Why do we have so many different sizes? Because we work in different um, areas with different shapes. And especially when you work with the angle, it really will get in tight, precise little areas that um, some of the other shapes would possibly lift out color that you didn't want and lift it out. The dome and the flat, I use a lot when I stencil. Oh, let's make a new color here. I really enjoy the dome because I never have to worry about excess paint um, going off the edge of the angle if I'm working with a really small stencil in small areas. I can control it with pressure to partially put it in, to striate it, or totally fill an area in effortlessly. Um, another thing I like to do with it that most people wouldn't think to do is, oh my gosh, look, because of these wonderful fine stiff Taclon hairs, you can create a multitude of textural brush strokes, create fur, grass, almost anything with them. And last but not least, you know, through experimentation, the best treat of all is I love creating the unexpected mark in my pencil art. So the scrubbers are a wonderful tool to transfer pigment powders onto your paper surface, whether you are making texture marks, or you even want to utilize them to bring soft pigment within a stencil or a pattern area within the design. I love the fact that the hairs do not fan out all different directions and go killywampus, so I am in total control if I want to partially fill in, completely fill in, or just give a hint of color on the edge. So, all you pencil artists out there, you're going to start having some brushes in your pocket as well as pencils. And as for you stencilers and watercolors, you can't beat them uh, for pigment, for gouache, acrylic, tempera. You can use these brushes on paper, wood, walls, hard or soft surfaces. And you fabric painters, don't forget, because they're so wonderful and stiff and the hairs stay in controlled areas. It's wonderful when you're working with fabric paints on fabric because sometimes you really have to push that pigment into those fibers. So, I've showed you about eight or nine ways to work with them. I'm sure you'll come with a bunch, you'll come up with a bunch more yourself. Um, Silver Scrubbers by Silver Brush Limited. <laughs>